Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Sam World. Sorry if you guys can't see me. I just played some basketball, but I wanted to get a quick video out for you guys before I go delving into getting this Future Bounce pack out. As you guys know, tomorrow Future Bounce Revolution will be coming out, and it's going to be one of the best resources for Future Bounce producers that want to learn the sound design as well as, you know, want sick ass samples, sick ass presets to make the music that they want to make that's inside their head. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys a quick little hack so that you can be more complex. Now, this hack is going to work for every genre, but just because tomorrow we release a future bounce pack, that means that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it in a future bounce kind of track. So we're going to have this. And this is going to be one of the project files for Ableton inside the Future Bounce Pack. Now, we have to find a good um, MIDI, drop MIDI tool to use. So as you guys know, you guys can download the drop MIDI tool for free. Now, let's f try and find one that's going to fit the track. Let's move it down here. So let's find one that fits. This one. And this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this one. I think it sounds best and it fits the rhythm pretty well. Now, the first thing I need to do is look at that drop MIDI tool and try and separate the MIDI. Like we have the idea here for the drop, which is the rhythm. So how can I separate this into different sounds? Well, one of the more obvious ones is having a stab. So I'm going to add one here. And we're going to have this be like so and do that. Now, after the stab, this could be another sound. So I can easily say this would be another sound and this would be another sound. You can make it even smaller by saying this would be a sound and then this would be a sound. And as I'll show you. So the first one that we're going to do is we'll have the stab be its own sound. So that means the stab hits and then this one comes in. So I'm going to move that down. And this would be played by another sound. Now over here, we know this would be played by another sound. So let's put this into another guy here. Maybe this one up here. And then this one here. And then again, we go back down to this one down here. So this one would be cool. Now let's try and make an idea out of it. Once we have it separated, let's, you know, make a stab here. So I usually like my stab with chord. So now we move to this guy and we can give it melody now finding a, a good melody takes time guys so i'm just going to put in a random one here um and hope that it works so usually i like to revolve my melodies around this the fifth of the scale so i'll go there and see if this kind of helps uh, i'm just going to put some random notes in all honesty And then here, we're going to do like a response in a way like JS Core talked about in his tutorial. I can move that here if I want. So here we can do uh, maybe um, around here maybe. We'll keep it and see if this works. Dun, dun, dun. So let's switch the lead up so that way we don't use this one for this. Let's see if we can find a little better one. I know my favorite one. Here's the happy. Make them all equally as loud. And then we can remove this over here. So as you can see, we made this kind of nice. Let's go. So as you can see guys there, easily we did that and this could be done for every genre. Is The difference is just going to be the type of sounds obviously. But hopefully this video helps you guys in getting complex drops. It's that easy if you go in with this mentality. You know, my goal here guys for you guys is to make stuff easier, you know, because like a lot of people uh, get scared of doing complex stuff, but it's not. Yeah, right now if we look at this, it does look complex, but if we take it back to the beginning of the tutorial where it was just a simple drop MIDI tool, it didn't look that complex, right? And it all comes from that. Anyways, Ninjas, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys want to support this pack, you guys can find it over at evilsounds.com tomorrow. Um, it will be on the front page. So as always, your support helps keep this channel going, helps keep artists coming on here to do guest tutorials, which are some of the best ones in my opinion. And as always, guys, have fun making the music you love. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.